Hi, yes, today we are going to be reacting to what is considered a pretty good Nintendo Direct by the amount of likes it has, the comments seem to be very positive and receptive to this Nintendo Direct. Maybe it's because it's a Nintendo Direct Mini and they communicated very early on that it's only going to be third party showcases keeping the expectations low or maybe it's because it's not live in any way they just uploaded it straight to their channel resulting in a maybe a more hassle-free and convenient package or maybe the games are just good or maybe it's all of those factors so enough chit chat let's just watch this thing uh -huh, release dates mm -hmm. you're still feeling the effects of COVID-19 All right, we're not wasting any time. And the land falls into chaos. The arch demon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. This is a triangle strategy or fire emblem. What is it? Or oh, Monster Hunter? I think it's Monster Hunter. Yeah. Oh, look at that big boy with with four hands. There's oh boy, look at them. Look at them go. Ah. So is this an update to Monster Hunter, whatever it is? Oh, okay. You know, they're not hiding the fact that this is on Nintendo Switch. The graphical fidelity of it, it's uh, what you would expect from a Nintendo Switch, of course. So there was this weird, like, ghetto effects. I mean, it still looks good, but it's still a Nintendo Switch game. Oh, look at all those memories I did not experience. Um, alright, yeah. It, it looks cool. I guess, if you're playing it in a small screen. I have never played a Monster Hunter game. Not even the game that was made for Nintendo Switch. So honestly, uh, I don't think I'm into it. I mean, isn't it crazy to buy games based on your personal tastes? Oh my lord, look at that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the, the music really fits what's uh, being shown, but maybe it's like a triumphant a return for, for this character. Yeah, it's very emotional, apparently. I, I And uh, for lack of a better term, epic. Uh, yeah. Yep, there, there you go, there you go. On Standardized Sunbreak. Oh, it's Sunbreak. So just a new trailer for Sunbreak. It's a uh, it's a Fortnite shard. It's the needle gun from Halo. August twenty two, seizing plasma grease. Oh my god. Seizing by the grace. August, fall, winter. I see. It's a roadmap type of thing and it's free. Massive expansion coming June 30. Demo is available. Blaze through rise into the world of Sunbreak. Hello everyone. Oh, there's a narration. To today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. All okay, right. Let's get into the headlines. Cool. Show me what you got. The battle to reclaim Earth begins. This um uh, near Automata. 
machine life forms have overwhelmed the planet, causing the collapse of civilization. Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's near. On the, moon. the end of Yorha edition. Is now, this the same? With an android squad called Yorha. The humans are prepared to stand against these machine life form invaders. These robots? I still don't get why he looks like that. Is that a lore reason? A battle android 2B and a scanner android 9S are two key members of this squad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone's played near a town except for me, apparently. People are saying it's like a masterpiece, so. Maybe I should buy this one. You just die already. Oh my god. I, I felt that. Oh, it's near Automata? That's how it's pronounced? Not Automata? Near Automata? Oh, that's interesting. Reclaim Earth in Near Automata, the end of Yorha edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Like, you know, it originally came out in 2017. I watched uh, Etika play it. A murder mystery. A power to memories. I'm gonna take your glasses, nerd. Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles. This is like a Suda 51 game. In this modern take on puzzle adventure games. Oh, this is a swear game. Looks like a swear Solve game. The enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first for consoles. Simogo and Aperna. Next year. Right. Okay. Familiar faces. Add that one to the bundle of games. games. Bomberman. The Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Two. This time, a bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the first. I mean, are a people really yearning for a, another Bomberman? The first one came out during the launch of Nintendo Switch, right? It was pretty lukewarm reception. Literally, you can also create. Were people really your own battle stages? Hammering for it, the clamoring for this. R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Maybe there's enough uh, improvements and updates. Oh! Cool! Control Mega cool. Man Grid Mega Man Collection, Mega, Mega Man X Collection, and now Mega Man Genesis Battle Network capabilities. Collection. This collection includes a gallery with over 1,000 illustrations and a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. If I remember co correctly, I think I have, I may have like the, uh, had at some point in my life, the Zero, uh, figure, like a McDonald's toy of Zero, specifically the Battle Network, uh, version. He has a family? He sets off for Ghost Island. Eating dots isn't all you can do here. Trounce enemies with pack dots. The rev roll, the butt bounce, and a giant Pac-Man? From high speed chases to galactic escapades. Why? I don't get why he's so surprised by a giant Pac-Man? Oh my lord! That has never been done before. Cool. I mean, it looks better than the uh, modern Pac-Man, that's for sure. Incredible journey. Oh, nice. Nice little journey. Nice uh, art style. Is this the same company that made the uh, Super Mystery Dungeon? Not Super. Mystery Dungeon uh, remake? In this emotional adventure, these unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play. So oh, okay. It. Pretty interesting. Ah, uh, this little black boy is gonna eat. Unexpected bond in Blanc. That that was uh worded inappropriately. I mean, like there has to be a point where the inevitable 
grinding, <laughs> grind box, grinding of polarized figures like Clash at some point. You can't have a deer and a baby wolf and not have a certain friction. I've been in enough Sorry, it's uh, dozen scrapbooks. At 1:45 a.m. about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal. Mm, nice, very nice. One that has all of the above. My name is Guybrush Threewood, and this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of This is a continuation of a series. Guybrush Threewood. I, I don't know about this art style. It's 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 not the art style itself, but the animations very really like flash animated. They're not hand drawn animation. Yeah, Mikey Island. Who knows? Maybe the, the, it'll look better Monkey in Rally person. In return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. Okay, Lucasfilm. Next, we have some news about a game that was announced last June. Please take a look. Which one is that? It's been, it's been a pretty while. Oh, this one. In the latest Mario Plus Rabbids game. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to know more about this. Space is in a universe of trouble when otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Their goal? Take the energy possessed by sparks, these mysterious creatures. Now, our heroes must set out to save them. A new adventure of epic proportions awaits. I do love that it is getting a sequel. A turn -based battle uh, you know, if you know behind the scenes um, how the, the, the original you game was created, it was, it was, it's a really hard warming story like within your character's range before using their weapon pretty neat huh and the game itself wasn't that bad pretty good actually way, according so to reputable sources i only watched the skill up review and he, he liked it and have her dash into another next rabbit luigi cool one more dash and now Disruptor time! By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Back to Mario. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew! That concludes his turn. Last but not least, Rabbit Rosalina. Team up with an ally and jump! Okay. Get position, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay, cool. Our turn's over. You got the star bits now, from uh, Galaxy. Attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. I do wonder what's the uh, story behind be this one. All right, we've got the floor again. Because the first one, it's, it's less of a story and more of an excuse to get these characters in this world with the rabbits. Boom. is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battlefield cool super wait is that bowser and he's joining the team oh my lord that has Rabbit never happened before bowser and mario Nintendo teaming up Switch system October 20th. Pre -order novel concept on Nintendo e -shop. check out ubisoft special showcase tomorrow for more details about you know what mario i'll watch it Rabbit, i'll watch it i care enough about mario plus rabbits <laughs> to watch the showcase I hope the original creator is presenting it. Adventures of Mario and the Rabbits. Let's take a look at more headlines. There's something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. 
uh, new Mario game. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes every time you enter them. Recruit allies called Lilliput to challenge the enemies lurking around every corner. Kind of like a plant former Pokemon. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise. Birdie default. Later today. Final Fantasy. All aboard! In the this management one. sim Railgrade, you'll build railway systems to efficiently transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity to an industrial colony. Cool. Add him something with definitely cream. Each shipment before it's delivered to its destination. Your if he plays will this. Change based on various factors, like the number and length of trains to run, which resources to acquire, and how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Very interesting. Railgrade steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Join aspiring game creator Kenta in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest creation, The Legend of Right. Taking oh, that's place cute. In Kenta's notebook. This RPG spans over 200 pages, where you must draw, erase, cool. solve puzzles, and even consult your handy calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. It's nice RPG and cute. RPG Time, The Legend of Right, unfolds onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. Pre-orders begin today. The presentation looks shot. pretty... It's slick. You know, Spin high attention to detail. Uh, oh lord, let's see what it looks like on Nintendo Switch. Um, you know what, not bad. It looks like a... <laughs> has the same uh, level of quality as uh, Breath of the Wild, I guess. Except uh, less visually appealing because it's so concerned with looking realistic. While Breath of the Wild has the uh, advantage of being slightly... Uh, Timing, heightened you can even deflect enemy attacks. and has its own art style this one does not look great you can compared to Breath of the Wild of course Ooh, look at those muddy 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 textures but to you know credit where credit is due they probably aren't really concerned because you are expected to go very fast you are gonna miss out anyway on a regular gameplay session you know on details you won't you won't notice them magically alongside your disney and pixar friends dreamlight valley was once an idyllic land where disney and pixar game loft lived in harmony until i don't like that turned this dream into a nightmare now, it's up to you to help these iconic residents recover their lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you. I think the last time I played one of these types of games where you explore uh, the Disney world is like on Nintendo DS. Explore this land's many diverse realms and forge lasting friendships with heroes and villains alike. You can take a selfie with Ursula. ...to discover and adventures to complete. Help them out by exploring, giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. In this world, you can be whoever you dream yourself to be. I'm gonna kick Buzz into Disney fucking space. Launches on Nintendo Switch can I do that? As an early access what if I want to be an arsonist? Early access. So, like, is it a free-to-play game, or you actually have to pay? Because I'm interested in seeing what a Game Loft game would look like. If it's an, you know, an actual game. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists, time periods, and uh, I do love this art style. HD 2D. Looks like paper craft, you know? A demo with the start of three chapters. And I wish China, Twilight of Edo, Japan, uh, and the, the Diamond and Pearl remake would just go with this type of look. This is as charming as hell. The demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Like, paper, paper and arts and craft plus pixel and graphics, and boom, like, match made in heaven, in my opinion. Dreams. By farming, plow the fields, harvest crops, and tend to the animals. Yeah, this has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Doraemon, but sure, let's... It's a pretty neat concept, I guess, for these characters. And fishing. 
Sure, why not, right? And with local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. Doraemon, story of seasons. Doraemon? Did, did I hear that right? Doraemon? Not Doraemon? Whatever. World of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay in Minecraft. They're really running through this. No time wasted at all. Yeah, I've seen this before. And I'm not a big fan of the the outlines. The black outlines. I wish there maybe there's an option to turn it off. Maybe. But then again, you know, you're playing you're gonna play this on a small screen. I think I've acknowledged the fact that you know, Super Smash Bros. and the 3DS also had those outlines considering this, the line, the screen is very small. It's just easier to make out characters. But like, even then, the outlines only are limited to the characters. Like, even this game, the outlines, only the characters have it. Not the entire world, like uh, Minecraft. to reach high ledges or dangle from a drachy to glide over gaping chasms cool support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes bring your hard-earned haul back to your base i do wonder how long the nintendo switch is gonna last i mean it's going strong going stronger than most nintendo consoles when dragon quest treasures launches on nintendo switch december 9th Modern Nintendo consoles, at least. Yeah, No Man's Sky is, is on Switch now. Where am I at? I don't think this is a... Uh, copyright friendly music, Nintendo. But whatever, I guess I'll just use the uh, YouTube function that lets you disable the music while keeping your voice. It's still in beta, even though it's like... been years, but you know, whatever. It works. It definitely works, so... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna enjoy this... music. I'll fix it later. Um, yeah, that was a nice small direct. Oh, shit. Really? Portal? Isn't it... Uh... Yeah, so much are we gonna get the release date now? At first, your participation is appreciated and required. There might even be cake. The Portal Companion Collection will be. You know, I would just say like just play it on PC, but for people who don't have it, I'm glad you're finally gonna get to experience it. Like this is so. Let's get started. Nintendo fans would definitely enjoy this because it has the it has a the, the philosophy that goes into this it's also in line with how Nintendo makes games you know but I would argue like steam a peaceful village where seasons they have better stories your story like imagine Nintendo level gameplay with actually a good story and that's what I think of when I think of steam cooking craft no, not Steam Valve, sorry. And trek through the fields <laughs> to collect the uh. All while mm, we're still going along the way. The seasons gently flow from spring, summer, fall, and winter. That's nice. However, they will give way to the season of death. Well, that's nice. Quietus. Crops wither. All right. I mean, if it's part of nature, then who are we to argue with it? The fate of the village depends on you. Me? My God. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Cool. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Is it a big one? Persona 5 Mission on the Switch. Start. Cool. Yeah. Coming at ya. I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. 
God, your eyes are so weird. You're not even looking at me, dude. It's like... That way. I hope you're ready. Yeah, Persona 5 R Royal, right? We had a big splash when this came out. Not the original one. Look at his life. Look at these lifeless eyes of theirs. And Persona 4 Golden. Cool. Are they gonna be like a bundle or like each sold separately? Oh, this too. Very nice. P1 and P2. Still getting the shoreline of the stick. You know, fans can only hope that it's getting remade. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. So yeah, I think it goes without saying that they're gonna be sold separately, not in a bundle. Which is fine. That's nice. Yeah, I get why people like it so much, you know? If it was live, you had to sit through all of it. But in this case, straight upload, people can skip the parts where they don't really like and skip to the parts where things get interesting, you know? I think the highlight is definitely all all three Persona games. There, there are no, There's no other Persona games except P5, P4, and P3. Those are the only Persona games that will ever exist. Yeah, I think Persona 5 Persona 4, Persona 3, they're made for portable systems. They're like dungeon crawlers, right? Uh, at the core of it. And we just want to grind. We just want to go in and just do shit. It's, it's nice to do it in short bursts when you're on the train or bus or any public transportation. I love public transportation. Please ride and support your local public transportation. And when I'm hunkered down on the sofa, put it in the dock, and then I engage with the story. Once I'm all leveled up from going through all those levels while on public transportation. I would get excited for Portal, but I already have the game. And uh, Lorelei and the Laser Eyes looks interesting. It's for Nintendo Switch, and I'm, I'm sure it's also for uh, PC. Mega Man Battle Network is also a nice surprise. It would, I would really want to play a Mega Man game, but the last time I wanted to purchase a Mega Man uh, the Mega Man Legacy Collection or whatever. It was sold out. And okay, fine. I'll just buy the Mega Man X one. It was sold out too. I would really like to play Mega Man. No, they're solid platformers. Mega Man X? God. Ever since that sequel Itis episode by... Uh, one Sir Egrepta. I really wanted to play it, but I didn't know how. Because I was a little tiny kid. And I didn't, really don't want to play the Steam version because I heard bad things about it. It's a Nintendo Switch version. That's where it's at. That is where it's at. Overall, I would give this Nintendo Direct a 7. This is a good one. You done good, Nintendo. You done good. <laughs>